What is good ladies and gentlemen? Today I got another another moveset guide for a new Pokemon. A Pokemon Scarlet the Violet. This Pokemon, the Dolphin Pelafin. <laughs> Rams, okay. Anyway, this this motherfucker looks very strong. Now you're looking at I know you're looking at this base stats right now, you're like, this doesn't look doesn't look like strong at all. I can't even talk. Doesn't look that strong at all, right? Let me explain this Pokemon. Alright, so this ability, zero to hero, new ability. If this Pokemon is Pelafin, it changes it to hero mode when it switches out. I'm gonna show you the hero mode in a second, but let's be real, it's not hard to switch out in a singles battle. Switching is like one of the main components of uh, competitive singles. So you're gonna get this ability every match, it's not that hard. And even you have flip turn, so you can safely switch out if you want. But anyway, enough of this, you're not really gonna use this form, because you're mostly gonna use the hero form, since you're switching out anyways. So, hero form, what's, what's with this hero form? Look at these stats, we got 100 base HP, 160 base attack, and 100 base speed and you have to imagine this 100 base hp with 97 and 87 in defense and special defense that's really good bulk that's actually quite some quite good bulk and you have the 160 attack stat and the 100 speed very fast and decently bulky as well so i made two sets for this motherfucker uh we're gonna go over those the first set is a choice band set so we got the move Wave Crash. Wave Crash is a new move. It's basically a water type Flare Blitz. So 120 base power, uh, but it has 33% recoil. Still uh, very strong though. I, I'd rather use this over something like Liquidation, which has a 85 um, base power. Rather, rather use this shit. Wave Crash, new move, looks good. Now we got Flip Turn. Of course, you know, you want to use Flip Turn. It gives you good momentum, hits hard with the Choice Band. Especially with a 160 base attack. Another move, we got close combat as its third move. It, this Pokemon doesn't really have the best coverage. Like we can look at the coverage options right here. Doesn't really have anything that stands out except for close combat. So I gave it close combat. It's like kind of like Barrascuda in a sense. But way stronger. Like Barrascuda on steroids, you could say. And an put another new move on this guy. Jet Punch. Jet Punch is a new move. It has 60 base power and it looks like it's like a priority move. But I, th to me, this seems like an upgraded version of Aqua Jet. Why is Aqua Jet even a thing when you can use a move that does the same thing but is stronger? I don't know. G Jet Punch, a priority move. You know, this thing has base 100 speed, but still, it's nice to have the priority to speed something like a Scarf Pokemon. Or something that you know has plus one speed, maybe it's set up a dragon dance, whatever. So we got that. You could up to run ice punch on this to hit grass types harder. But I think close combat does that job pretty well. You could always just flip turn. I personally would go with um I forgot the name of the move to be honest. What's the name of the move again? Shit. Jet punch, yes. I would rather go with the jet punch. Good priority move, 60 base power. That's pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, and for the EVs, just ran max attack, max speed. I'll, I'll, um, I recommend Jolly, so you can outspeed base 100 Pokemon, uh, or you know you can speed tie with other base 100 Pokemon and, and outspeed uh, those below. Like uh, to give you some examples, if you look at uh, the tier right now, of course not everything is OU, so because it just released, so not everything is gonna stay here. If you look at some base 100 Pokemon. Uh, you know, a notable one to outspeed is Toad Scroll, or at least um, Speed Tie with it, because it's a Grass type, so it can hit you back pretty hard as well. But you can maybe kill it with a Water Move, since its defense is not that great. So Toad Scroll is pretty big one. Besides that, I don't really see anything you want to outspeed. I think Toad Scroll is a big one for now. But for the Terror type on this Pokemon, I would recommend to just go Water. Uh, because you know this shit hits like a truck well <laughs> already with water moves it has three water moves in this move pool or on this move set 
that you're gonna click that the most. With the Terratop Water you get another big boost on your water moves. So I just recommend going for the Terratop Water. You could go Fighting type, although I don't think it's worth it over water. You get the extra stab on the close combat, which is nice, but I think water is superior. The next moveset, we got a Bulk Up set. So for this I used Wave Crash, Bulk Up, Close Combat and Jet Punch. And I'll just go for the EVs, same EVs, Max Tech, Max P, Jolly Nature, Adamant if you really want to. Bulk Up, unfortunately the only like attack raising move it has, doesn't have Sword Stance or anything like that. But yeah, this set, set you know, um, if you don't want to use the Choice Band, it can be really fun. Use the Waves Incense as its item, could opt to go Leftovers if you really want to. Probably go Wave Incense if it were up to me. No, uh, something interesting also that you can run is Agility instead of the Jet Punch. So you've got Agility for a uh, speed boost and you go an uh, uh, Adamant of course and the max speed. You have speed everything with plus two Agility. I think you can maybe even like uh, optimize these and like, like for example go 270 and put the rest in HP. Because you know, at 540 with agility, I think it's safe to say you'll speed everything, maybe even lower. But you have, you know, it, it depends on the Pokemon using scarves and stuff. But uh, like something like this can also be pretty good already. And put the rest in HP. You know, you got the double dance, wave crash, bulk up, close combat, agility. Pretty good set. You got wave crash as your main move, close combat. But, you know, if it's up to me, probably gonna be using choice band though. But it's a fun set. I, I would use it to th and I'll try it out. It seems pretty fun, this set. Before I forget, you can also use a Choice Scarf set on this guy. You know, you're already pretty strong with that 160 base attack. 100 speed, pretty fast. You can run an Adamant Nature with the Choice Scarf. You can also run Jolly to be even faster. It's up to you. I, I don't think one of one is really better than the other. I, I might just run Adamant. It really depends on like the meta Pokemon, of course, too. But no Jolly or Adamant, it's both fine. And run Ice Punch probably instead of the Jet Punch. Since you don't really need priority right with the Choice Scarf. And Ice Punch is good for Grass Pokemon. And um, yeah, I'll just go Terra Water again. Thing is, like, Mono Water is such a good typing, in my opinion. That I don't really see the option or the reason to change this guy to another Terra typing. Especially since, uh, you know, using Wave Crash and Flip Throne with the Terra Water is pretty good. And, you know, if you're using Choice Band with Jet Punch. Terra Water seems like, seem, seems like the best option in my opinion. So yeah, that's uh, everything for Pelofin. So yeah, opinion on this Pokemon. From now, I don't think uh, it will be banned. It might get suspected. Uh... I don't think it will be banned or it might be, it might get banned, you know, the meta is still fresh, who can really, who can really say? Yeah, that's it for this video, if you learned something new, enjoyed the video, consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss future videos like this one, got a lot of content on Scarlet and Violet coming out, leave a comment what you think about Pelican Hero, is it viable? Yeah, that's real, it's viable, it's gonna get banned, it's gonna get suspect, it's gonna stay in OU, what do you think? And until then, I'll see you next time.